Hey YouTube, so I got my third clutch of the 2022 season uh, today, and I figured that this would be a great opportunity to show exactly how I incubate my eggs. I get that, that question all the time, how do you set them up, humidity, temperature, all that. So I'm gonna go through that right now. And I wanna do it for this clutch because this is one of my most anticipated clutches from 2022, and just happened to be that it came out really early. Uh, so this female right here, is a pastel clown pie, believe it or not. Um, no, she's not a xanthic, although you'd think that she is by how gray she is. She actually uh, used to be bright yellow and white, and then she gradually lost all the yellow. Like, uh, but I think at about a year of age, the yellow all of a sudden just went away, and she ended up like this. So I actually bred her to a hypo pied, which is gonna produce pieds and pastel pieds that are 100% triple hat for hypo, ultramel, and clown. So I can really make some powerful combos with uh, with the clutch, and you know I'll probably end up keeping most of the clutch, if not all of it. Um, but I'm really really excited about this clutch. So I'm going to show you how I go about getting this because she would bite me if I go straight in towards her face. She's going to bite me absolutely for sure. So the way I, I get her off the clutch is I go like this. I come up from behind like this and then just pick her up. I'm just gonna set her right over here for now. So we got one, two, three, four. This egg was kicked out. Should still be good though, it looks good. And we got two slugs. Um, those are very disappointing for sure. Um, last year she actually laid a clutch and it was six eggs and all of them were slugs. So I don't know what it is. Sometimes er, really early season clutches and really eight, late season clutches tend to come out a little higher infertility rate for me. And I'm not really 100% sure why that is yet. So anyway, I wanna take those out, but first I wanna prepare the container uh, for incubating. So this is coarse grade perlite in here. A little bit of dusty stuff in there too. But I'm gonna wet this down. I'm gonna add quite a bit of water to it. Okay, so it's pretty heavy. I'm gonna maybe put a little bit more in there. That's probably good. Okay, so then I just, this is a light diffuser. Um, you can order these on Amazon. They come in big, like four foot by two foot sheets, I think. So I put that in here. I push it down and make sure that the water isn't gonna come up above the diffuser. You don't want, the, the, the ideal situation is you don't want the eggs to touch the water. So that you can see I'm pushing down with quite a bit of force and it's still staying above the water line. Okay, then I'm gonna take these eggs. Now these are already separated. I don't typically separate my eggs if they are, um, if they're connected together. Um, I don't usually separate them. But for this clutch, considering that they're already all separate, I'm going to figure out a way to get these all set up so they're not going to be touching each other. So every, every time I do this, it's always a little bit different. So maybe I'll put this like this. Put those like that. You know, keep them separate as much as I can, just in case one of the eggs would go bad. I don't want it to uh, infect any of the other ones. And we have this one back here, and I'm gonna put this right in here to hold its place. I was actually hoping that this clutch would be one that was all stuck together. It'd be a lot easier to show all this. Actually, I'm gonna do this a little bit different. Put that one right there. And I'll put this one back here. It's like kind of doing a jigsaw puzzle. There. Now none of the eggs are touching anything. If I had more of these little pieces here right now, I'd probably put some along the side too, but I don't. So the two infertile eggs, unfortunately, I'll have to just toss. And then I'm gonna put her back in here. So she will, um, 
she'll get cleaned out completely and uh, within a few days I'll put new bedding in there, uh, you know, clean, disinfect the tub, and then she'll be ready to start feeding again. Okay, so then as far as my records for the clutch, I just put information on her hatch chart here. So last year she laid eggs actually one day later in the year than this year. And like I said before, she slugged out. So I, I write, uh, there's six total eggs, and then this represents the number of slugs. And then this is the male that I bred her to last year. And then this is this year's. And I'll add in the number of eggs versus slugs right there. And then what I bred her to. And then this goes on the front of her cage. I've got, um, I, all my breeder females have that. And you can also see the general information about the female. She's a pastel clown pie. I produced her in 2018. So that's basically all the records that I have for this. And I will attach this. And so these containers that I use are latchable ones. You wanna make sure that the lid feel, fits really tight on there. If, um, if it's too loose, you're gonna to lose too much oxygen in there and, and the clutch could potentially dry out. So with this, there's not a whole lot of air that's gonna get in through there. And I take a 1 16th inch drill bit and I'll put one little hole in the front and one little hole in the back. And that's basically all I do for air exchange in there. And at that point, I move them into my incubator. This is a hot box, inc incu hot box incubator from Sea Serpents. I got this one last year. I produced so many babies last year, I ran out of incubation space, so I had to order another incubator. But this clutch will sit in here for about 58 days, and I'm incubating at about 88 degrees. There they'll stay. And then once they hatch, then I'll take them out and uh, figure out what exactly I have in the clutch and set them up individually. So anyway, I hope that helps you guys figure out how to incubate your eggs. Uh, like I said, if you have a clutch where the eggs are all stuck together, as long as all the eggs look good, you can leave them together. Um, and you might need a larger incubation container than that one because some, some clutches are taller, some are wider. You, know, you just have to have a, a tub that's gonna work right for you. So anyway, I hope you guys like that. Um, if you uh, want to see what I have available, make sure to visit uh, royalconstrictordesigns.com and I'll be back again with another video very soon.